Hello and welcome. I'm Akash, and these are the trending stories that are creating buzz. After Yemen rescue call now grows for permanent Indian crisis staff. India's evacuation of more than 3,000 nationals from Yemen has been a triumph of improvisation, but some officials in Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government say a slow response to the crisis has underlined the need for a full-time staff to protect Indians abroad. One fourth of these overseas Indians are in the Middle East, mainly nurses, construction workers, drivers, and hotel staff. India evacuated 7,000 citizens from Iraq last year and nearly 18,000 from Libya in 2011. A tour of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's ancestral home and railway station where he sold tea. A visit to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's birthplace, Vadnagar, and a tour of the railway station where he sold tea as a boy are now a part of a tour package offered by Gujarat government's tourism agency. Tourism Corporation of Gujarat Limited, through an official partner, is offering a day-long tour that costs rupees 600 per head to Vadnagar in Mehsana district. The package is called The Rise of Modi's Village and is reportedly a huge hit with the tourists. Yogendra Yadav to meet supporters in Lucknow and Chandigarh. In a run-up to Open Dialogue or Swaraj Samvad, organized by AAP leaders backing outstood Party leaders Yogendra Yadav and Prashant Bhushan, a fraction of leaders, is launching a publicity campaign on social media while others are expected to hold a slew of meetings in capital and in other parts of the country to garner support. According to sources close to Bhushan and Yadav, the outster leaders will meet supporters and volunteers in Chandigarh and Lucknow during the course of this week. Rajnath Singh asked CM of JNK for land for Kashmiri Pandits. Home Minister Rajnath Singh on Tuesday asked Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Mufti Muhammad Sayyid to provide land for composite township for Kashmiri Pandits in the state. Sayyid, who was called on by the Home Minister, assured him that the state government will acquire and provide land at the earliest to composite township in the Kashmir Valley. My wife has never been Eve teased because she wears sari, says Goa Minister. After there were reports of his wife comments over the Western culture causing rape, Goa Minister of factory and boilers, Deepak Davlika defended her statement claiming her spouse has never been Eve teased because she wears sari. In a public endorsement of his wife's comment, Davilkar, who dodged queries from the journalist all through Monday, said rapes were fewer in the past because of non-infiltration of the Western culture. In April last year, Deepak Davilkar demanded a formation of Hindu nation under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Well, that's all for now, but for more news and updates, watch out this space.